everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a commentary speculating about Call of Duty 2018. So guys you might be wondering why are you speculating about Call of Duty 2018 when Call of Duty World War 2 aka Call of Duty 2017 isn't even out yet. So guys the reason why I decided to make this video is because Call of Duty 2018 is of course not going to be coming out for quite a little while now. However we're going to be getting news and information in about a year from now i thought i'd speculate a little bit about it because you know why not i thought it made kind of an interesting topic for today's video also guys if you're enjoying today's video don't forget to leave a like on it down below let's see if we can get 10 likes on today's video that'll be absolutely amazing and with all that out of the way let's actually get right into the commentary so call of duty 2018 if you actually did not know is going to be made by treyarch now treyarch studios actually have made quite a few call of duty games the last one of course is going to be black ops 3 and then it goes Black Ops 2, Black Ops, things like that. So when it comes to Call of Duty 2018, I'm going to be going over some of the possible settings for that game. So yeah, let's go over the main ones. And before we do, let's actually go and take a look at all the games that Treyarch has actually made. Going to the newest Call of Duty that they made, and that's of course Black Ops 3. They also made Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty 3, as well as Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. Now of course, Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1, as well as Call of Duty 3, I'm not really going to be counting those because those were basically like the first ever games that they made for Call of Duty and they really weren't the greatest games. I remember hearing that Call of Duty 3 was made in a time frame of 11 months as well as Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 was an expansion pack. However, let's take a look at the main four Call of Duties being Call of Duty Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and World at War. Now to go over the possible settings for Call of Duty 2018, let's actually go over some of the ones that are probably going to be the most likely. Now the first one is that's going to be World War 2. The second one is going to be kind of like a Cold War era. The third one is going to be modern, and the fourth one is going to be futuristic. Those are probably the most likely settings for Call of Duty 2018. Now of course, Treyarch could go more in the past like World War 1 or anything like that, or they could go even farther into the future as Black Ops 3. However, those are probably going to be the most likely. Now let's knock off the first one, and that's going to be a World War 2 Call of Duty game. Now I highly doubt this because Call of Duty 2017 is going to be set in World War 2, and I don't really see Treyarch actually making a World War 2 Call of Duty game just after Sledgehammer Games made a World War 2 Call of Duty game. I don't really see the point. However, of course, if they want to, I think it would still be a good game, but I highly doubt that Treyarch is going to be making a Call of Duty game set in World War 2 just after Sledgehammer Games made their World War 2 Call of Duty game. Alright guys, now moving on to the next setting, and that's going to be a Cold War era. Now this game could probably take place between the end of World War 2 all the way up into the early 1990s when the Soviet Union collapsed. And I think this would be a lot more probable than another Call of Duty game set in World War 2 because of course Call of Duty 2017 is going to be set in World War 2. Now I think this is going to be very likely for Treyarch to actually make a game set in the Cold War because they already made one being Black Ops 1 which was set place in the Cold War. Now I think this would be a pretty likely setting for Treyarch to go to for Call of Duty 2018. And moving on to the next setting and that is of course going to be modern. Now in my own opinion I don't think that Treyarch is going to be doing a modern game and that is just because modern has never really been Treyarch's thing. They never have done a modern game as well as modern games are more of kind of an Infinity War staple as in they had the Modern Warfare franchise and I don't really see Treyarch going to a modern setting for Call of Duty 2018. Now of course they still could do that. I think it's more likely that Infinity War would make a game set in the modern times before Treyarch would. And moving on to the last one and that's going to be futuristic. Now futuristic doesn't have to be like set in 2070 or something like that. It could just be near futuristic. Like for example, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was a near futuristic game. It was set place in 2025. So I think this is probably going to be one of the most likely possibilities for Call of Duty 2018. And that's just because one of the most popular, if not the most popular Call of Duty game to date is Black Ops 2. And that was set in the near future and Treyarch actually made that game. So in summary, I think that Call of Duty 2018 is probably either going to be going to the Cold War like Black Ops 1 because that was one of the oldest settings that Treyarch went to excluding World War 2. I think it would really fit you know going from like World War 2 for Call of Duty 2018 
2017 to a Cold War game for 2018. I think that would be pretty neat. Or if they're not going to be doing that, I think they're probably going to be going the approach of creating a near futuristic Call of Duty game because that's what Black Ops 2 was and that was one of the most popular Call of Duty games to date. And Treyarch actually made that game, so I think those are the two most likely settings for Call of Duty 2018. And comment your thoughts down below in the comment section on what you think Call of Duty 2018 is going to be set in. However, again, it's pretty far off. Call of Duty 2018, we're not going to get any news and information until probably another full year. But yeah, it's always fun to theorize about the next Call of Duty game or even the Call of Duty game after the next one. So yeah, that has really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you are new. And don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that has really been it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.